FCC Media Days, they go back decades. So we decided to look back into our archives for some teams from the past. And we found a Vols quarterback 20 years ago who would go on to represent the good folks in Murphy, North Carolina, in Congress. It's real neat. Uh, I went to uh, Myrtle Beach this summer and thought I'd get away from everyone. Bam, you go to the amusement park and it was a 30-minute autograph session. But, uh, but that, that's part of it. Uh, um, that, that's what's neat about it. That at least uh, my mom always tells me, she goes, at least they know who you are. You could be just another person in the crowd, which that makes me feel good uh, that a young kid will come up and ask me for my autograph. We haven't forgotten about some of the great coaches in the past, so let's check out this story from Media Days in 1985 and see who came out on top. Absolutely nothing has changed in the SEC football race. The names and the faces are still the same. And the topic in question is rehashed every year in early August. Who will challenge? Who will fade? And who will earn a trip to the Sugar Bowl as the SEC's football champion? Seldom do coaches like to make a prediction. And this week's media gathering in Birmingham was no exception. I think there's seven or eight or nine teams could win this championship, has a chance to have a chance to win the championship. It's the greatest conference in America, so you can have a great football team, or a very good one, I should say, and maybe not win a game. I don't uh, think that we'll have, uh, even if everything were to go right, that we would still be a serious contender. I think if everything would go right, we might find a way to break into the second, the top division. But we've got a lot of questions to be answered. I think we can have a good year, and I think we possibly can have better than a good year. I think we can possibly get ourselves into a position of being in the thick of things of the SEC race. The players are usually more confident, more willing to put their pride in teammates on the line. Hopefully we'll be right there at the top. You know, I, I consider ourselves one of the top, top contenders in this league and hopefully we can stay there and after the season. Hope I can prove everybody right. Who cares about a baseball strike? Just bring on college football. In Birmingham, Alabama, Bill Erickson reporting, News Center 12 Sports. So here's how they finished in 1985. Tennessee won the conference championship and finished number four in the nation. Alabama was ranked 13th, while Georgia finished out of the top 20. We're going to be right back in a minute.